Hi friends, welcome to Programming Made Easy. So this is Santosh Avalamurthy. So in this video, we are going to see the differences between various VC++ MFC concepts, which shall help you to understand the uh, subject, the language, as well as it also helps you to answer confidently in the interviews because most of these questions are very common in the interviews related to VC++ MFC. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel to get the regular updates. Now let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to cover these five points that is model versus modeless dialogue. What are the differences? Debug build versus release build. UI thread versus worker thread, send message versus post message, regular DLL versus extension DLL. There are so many other topics we can cover under this particular uh, heading like differences. So I'll be taking up in the further videos. So first one is model versus modeless dialogue. This is a very, very common question in any of the VC++ MFC interview. Also, this is uh, one thing which you have to be uh, very clear as a developer. Now, so on the left side, I have put the descriptions and on the right side, I have the differences. So first point is user interaction with other dialogues. So that means when you have a parent dialogue and on the top of it, when you show a model dialogue on a modeless dialogue, how they behave. Okay. So if you talk about model dialogue, it is, I mean, the parent dialogue is blocked till the user closes the dialogue. That means you cannot click on the parent window. Whereas modeless dialogue, you can, it can work with other dialogues simultaneously. That means you, you can, you'll be able to work with the parent dialogue also simultaneously. Now, how do you create these two dialogues? What are the differences? Now, in case of model dialogue, you create the object of the dialogue and then you have to call do model function. In case of modeless dialogue, you have to create the object of the dialogue using new. That means you will be creating a pointer object. Then you call the create function and then we have to call the show window function if you have not passed or you are not set WS visible flag to true while you are calling create function. Okay. So in case we are not giving this flag WS underscore visible, then we have to exclusively show the dialogue using show window function. Now, how do you access the variables of your dialogues? So in case of model, we'll access using dot. In case of modeless, we'll be using a pointer um, to access the variables. So memory occupation, the model dialog will be created in the stack memory, whereas modeless dialog is created in the heap memory. So message loop capture in model dialog, the message loops are captured in modeless dialog, they are not captured. And the example for a model dialog is a print dialog. So what you might have seen in a print dialog till you click OK or cancel, you cannot go back to the document. Whereas modelized dialog, the very famous example is your find dialog where you will be able to type or search for something and it will be searched and highlighted in the parent window. So that is a modelized dialog. I hope it is very clear for you model versus modeless dialogue. Next, debug build versus release build. So this many of the developers, they doesn't know the difference between debug build and uh, release build. So as a developer, you should know this. It's a very, very important topic. Now, in case of a debug build, if you have observed the size of the debug build, your EXE or DLL will be more compared to the release build. Why? Because in case of debug build, the, it is compiled with the full symbolic debug information. So your debug build will have additional 
information about the debug and release build it compiles without any debug data when it comes to the optimization debug build is less top less optimized compared to the release build which is more optimized then speed debug build the speed is less whereas release build the speed is more so during development we normally develop using the debug so when you are when you are doing the compilation there will be an option to compile either as a debug build or release build normally a developer will use or develop the application uh, by predominantly keeping it in debug build because they can do a lot of debugging in the code and when it comes to testing we don't test I mean the tester the end user testing or the QA testing it happens it has to happen only with the release build not with the debug build and also the shipment has to be a release build but not the debug build and one very very important thing that every developer should keep in mind is that when you are doing unit testing it has to be on release build never test or do the unit testing on your debug mode or with the debug exe why because many of the cases the issues that comes in the release build will not come in debug build because the debug build has some additional information which masks that particular issue so we have seen many scenarios where the debug build works perfectly fine but when you give the release build in some scenarios it get crashed it will be crashed okay so if you want to find any such issues during the development you must do the unit testing using the release build before you give it for QA testing very very important keep that in mind next topic UI thread versus worker thread so as you all know MFC in MFC you can create threads two ways one is the UI thread another one is the worker thread now UI thread is mainly used when you have to handle user input and respond to events or messages generated by the user whereas worker threads are normally used for background processing so in case if you come to availability of message map in ui thread message map will be available in worker thread you will not have a message map so in case of ui thread the base class should be always cv in thread but for worker thread it's not mandatory to be derived from cv in thread now both the threads are created using afx begin thread but keep in mind there are two variants of afx begin thread one for ui thread creation and one for worker thread creation okay so based on what thread you are creating you have to use that particular variant of afx begin thread now example for ui thread is the main application thread that means whether it is your sda application mda application or a dialog based application that is your ui thread the one which is the main window so in case of worker thread the examples could be your background printing or some background calculations which you want to do so that can happen in a worker thread next is send message versus post message so send message the purpose is to send a message and wait until the procedure which is responsible for the message finishes and returns that means you send a message to a particular uh, window till the processing happens in that window like whether you click ok button or cancel button then only the message it will come out of the particular uh, message and it will wait till some action is done on that particular window but in case of post message it sends a message and immediately it returns it will not wait for that message to be processed 
okay so coming to the mode send message is a synchronous mode and post message is asynchronous mode because it doesn't wait okay next last point regular dll versus extension dll again whatever these topics i have covered these are very very common questions whenever you attend any interview vc plus, any interview about vc plus plus and an mfc okay out of these five at least we will have three or four questions definitely okay now what is the difference between a regular dll and extension dll now a regular dll can be used in mfc as well as non mfc applications whereas extension dll can only be used for mfc applications that means these dll functions or uh, classes can be used in another mfc application only now coming to the linking in case of regular dll you have both static linking as well as dynamic linking whereas in case of extension dll it is always dynamic linking now if you don't know what is static linking and dynamic linking wait for my next video where i'll be explaining the differences between static linking and dynamic linking so in case of exporting the uh, functions or classes so in case of regular dll you can only export functions whereas in case of extension dll we can export both classes as well as functions now coming to the size of your binary your output dll in case of regular dll the size is more whereas in case of extension dll the size will be less compared to the regular dll so that's all i wanted to cover in this short and sweet video so i hope you enjoyed it if you are not subscribed to my channel do subscribe to the channel if you like this video do like it and share with your friends and relatives who are working on vc++ and mfc so do comment whether it is positive or negative comment do comment so that i can improve myself so thank you so much for watching the video till the next video take care bye bye have a wonderful day